This is the Bojangles postgame report. I'm Adam Cavalier alongside Carson Newman Head, men's basketball coach Chuck Benson as the Eagles pick up an 87-77 victory over the Coker Cobras. Coach, congratulations on the victory. An absolutely phenomenal second-half performance. Defensively, you hold Coker to 24% shooting from the field. What adjustments did you make to cause that chaos defensively? Well, you know, <clears throat> first of all, Coker Coker's an, an outstanding opponent. Um, I think they're uh, as physical, tough, and athletic as anybody in our league. And so we were, you know, we, we'd already had an experience with them earlier this year on the road, but we got beat. Uh, <coughs> wasn't by any means our, our best uh, outing, but but our guys were very hungry for this game. Uh, we'd sort of red red lined this one on the on the on the schedule <laughs> as, as a great opportunity, and so we, we come in into this game and uh, have a very distinct, specific scouting report. Uh, they come right out of the gate and, and, and nail some perimeter threes, which, uh, you know, sort of, I think, un unglued us a little bit. Uh, we got extended a little bit much, and then they were able to attack us on the inside. And it really sort of broke, broke down our, our plan. That's the reason you saw their, their high, their 45%, 46 from the field, and 58 from the three. We told them at the, at the half, maintain poise, handle the adversity the right way. Um, percentage usually play, play themselves out. We came out the second half and made, made a little bit of an adjustment, which I'm not really going to go into great detail, but we did make a little bit of an adjustment uh, so we could match a little bit better with their shooters. And, and we ended up uh, still being able to con contest shots and uh, take away the interior. And that's what that led to them shooting the jump shots. And jump shots on the road will get you beat a lot of times. So you're not <coughs> revealing the secret sauce with the defensive adjustment, but whatever it was, it worked. Yeah, we've we, 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 we been torn around with that a little bit, and, and, and uh, it, it really it, it played it played heavily in that second half of this game. Another <laughs> thing that played heavily in the second half, rebounding. You were out-rebounded at the break 19-7. to seven. You in the second half and out-rebound Coker 27-15. to yeah. What did you do to get on the glass? Well, uh, well, first of all, when they're missing shots, it gives us more opportunities to rebound the ball. Um, you know, uh, the, second, the, the first half, they really established, they established that part and, and, and credit to them. <coughs> uh, but some of that was us. We, we got too extended and we, we got exposed because of the extension. Uh, again, the second half, our defense was a little bit more tough, uh, forced jumpers, and, which they missed, and then we were able to be in position to rebound the ball. So, uh, you know, I mean, it, it, it's really sort of the nature of what happens. When you're missing shots, the team on defense usually has a better chance to rebound the ball, and we just we did. Uh, <coughs> a solid thing, too. You forced them to take threes. Only had two makes inside the three-point arc. Yeah. In the second half. Well, we took away the interior. We really, we really tried to, unlike we did the most of the first half, where we got too extended, we really tried to take away the interior and force them to get jump shots and to take jump shots. Look at a couple of milestones for your club. Ish Sanders breaks into the top ten for uh, scoring in the South Atlantic Conference. First Carson Newman player in history <laughs> to be in the top ten. Now has 1,640 points in his career, and he supplants – uh, Lenore Rines, Roman Davis, who had 16, 19, needed wow. four, got 25, and uh, now he's four <coughs> points away from ninth, ninth place in the South Atlantic Conference standings. Yeah. Uh, did work at the free throw line, did work driving, did work from beyond the arc. Uh, what did he do with his game today to be effective? Well, uh, first of all, Ish, I've seen such, such, such growth uh, in terms of just him, him doing what he said he was going to do, uh, even in the last month of his career. Um, he told me before the game, he acknowledged that he was going to get multiple assists, which he did, five. Uh, he was going to try to get to the line 15 times. He got there 10, but made nine of them, which is outstanding. Uh, you know, uh, very efficient shooting. Cutting down, <clears throat> taking bad shots, and giving it up to other people, having confidence and trust in his teammates. So there were just so many uh, positives in his game. And, and really, you know, uh, <laughs> Uh, that's the reason, you know, if, if I had a player of the game more today, Ish Sanders is <laughs> getting it. And several guys played well, but, but Ish, Ish was the catalyst for many things today. It's been a while since you've had four players with more than 14 points, but Jared Johnson, Carson <laughs> Brooks stepped up big. What did they do to uh, get open, especially inside? Well, it, you know, Jared attacks that basket. And, and, and Jared this year in particular is turned into a, 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 a more than solid three-point shooter. He's a threat now, which yeah. makes his drive even more tough to defend. He's a, He's a physical, tough kid from up up, up in the, the, the Northeast, and he just he plays a physical, tough brand. And you know, he and I were up very late last night. Neither, neither one could sleep. We were talking, and, uh, and 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 he just he assured me that he was going to bring some some uh, some Boston toughness to the to the <laughs> equation, which he did. But when you look at the point production and, and a seven assist, that, yeah. that's outstanding. So I mean, he's he had his hands in in the points 
uh, not only him putting in the basket, but, but creating for the people. We, you know, I've seen such a, a difference in our team as far as creating for other guys uh, this year, and, and I really like that because it's, it's now you, that's, you're much more difficult to, to defend. Carson Brooks, too, nice stat line for him, 14 <coughs> points, five boards, plus he matches a career high uh, with three blocks. Uh, was he doing anything different to erase shots? We've been, we have been uh, really trying to, to uh, encourage Con Carson to be more confident. I, he's a guy that he doesn't even know what he is. You know, he's 6'6", <laughs> 220 pounds, pound for pound, one of the most athletic kids in this league. And, and his, 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 his mental talk, what he says to himself, he, do, he, doesn't, he doesn't even get what he is. And so we're constantly, and have done, done a lot, especially in the last couple of months, of really trying to explain to him what he is, what he's capable of. And I think he's, for the first time maybe in his life, starting to really know that he's, he's got some Superman-ass type qualities. <laughs> and if he'll just let it go and, 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 let, and, and let it out, uh, then he can be a force. Right, we've talked about first half to second half adjustments. You were 0-3 this season when trailing, going into the locker room. First win, uh, went down at the half. Uh, was it all just technical adjustments, or was there anything emotional that contributed to the surge in the second half? I thought our kids did a great job with poise. Great. I mean, we kept our poise. Nobody, you know, nobody was rattled. Nobody was unhinged or unglued. We went down there. We just said, you know what? We allowed them to make some threes, and, or we allowed those, those made threes to, to, to uh, get us off of our focus of taking away the interior. And, and nobody, nobody flipped out. Nobody lost the plot. We all just sort of said, we're going to go back and do what we said we were going to do for another 20 minutes, uh, and we're going to see what's going to happen. And that's exactly what our guys did. Credit, credit to them. Chuck, pleasure as always. Congrats on the big win over the Cobras. Thanks, Adam. Carson Newman, head men's basketball coach. Chuck Benson, Bojangles postgame report continues with Ish Sanders when we get back after this on the Eagle Sports Network.